Uh, crane hook is used for moving heavy objects, often found in industrial applications. We're going to design a crane hook to carry a load F. This is going to be, for this case, 100 newtons. Or if you put that in kilograms on Earth, it's going to be 10.2 kilograms. Okay, so that's our load. It's uh, pushing down. We want to be able to design this crane hook so that we can minimize the volume. Okay, so that's our first objective. We want to minimize the volume of the thing that we're manufacturing here to get the least expensive hook that can meet the demands of the load. And the, cook, the, the hook has to have a rectangular cross-sectional area. It's going to be manufactured out of this rectangular piece of metal. Okay, real hooks are going to have this tapered, uh, you know, taper at the end, but just for simplicity, we're going to assume that bending this up would be bent down, and then you would have a complete, okay, circular, uh, just for the calculation of volume. Okay, so uh, we want to optimize the hook design to minimize the volume, and the hook um, outer radius is R0. Okay, so there's the hook outer radius and the inner radius, Ri, and the minimum inner radius diameter, okay, from here to here, that has to be 3 millimeters. So it's going to be very small. The height of the difference between the outer and the inner radius is H. Okay, so that's the, that's the height of it. And the bending moment is going to be M equals uh, F, the force pushing down, times R. And the force is 100 newtons, and R is the centroid radius. All right, so that is going to be R. And then we also have the neutral axis radius. I'm going to give you some equations for these. So we have Rn is going to be equal to H divided by the natural log of R0 divided by Ri. Okay, so that's the neutral axis radius. Okay, so the difference between the centroid radius and the neutral axis radius is E. So that's going to be important as well. Okay, so uh, the stress at point A. This is a very important stress here at A and B because that's going to define some of our constraints. We're going to say that the stress at point A is going to be equal to M times R0, the outer radius, minus Rn, and that is the neutral axis radius divided by B. All right, and okay, so that is going to be this width right here, and then H. That's going to be the height. And then E, that's our difference between the centroid radius and the neutral axis radius. And then we also have R0. Okay, so that is the stress at point A. Now let's get the stress at point B as well, because both of these need to be able to meet this um, constraint of steel. I'm going to have that one be M. Okay, neutral axis radius minus the inner radius divided by B H E R I. Okay, the inner radius there. So same thing except R I on the bottom. Okay, so there are the two stresses. Now the stress at A and B should not exceed the yield strength of steel. And that is going to be 430 newtons per millimeter squared. And different grades of steel will have uh, different yield strengths. And maybe another thing you could optimize here is the cost of the steel, you know, selecting which steel. But that's beyond this optimization problem here. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up and solve it. We're going to do this in Python with Gecko. So I'm going to go through the equations. We're going to optimize the crane hook 
and we'll use gecko for this. If you don't have gecko, then just uh, pip install gecko. Okay, it'll download and install the latest version. Okay, and then I'll import from NumPy. I'm going to import Pi as well. And then I'll create a new Gecko model. I'll say remote equals false, so it just solves locally. So M is my model, and I'll define some constants. This is going to be the force. That's F is 100 newtons. There's the yield strength of steel. Okay, and then I also have, that is for... Uh, a gray D fine carbon steel ASTM A255, okay, for the type of steel there. All right, um, let's keep going. We have some variables. We'll have the outer radius. That's going to be one variable. Okay, and then we also have the inner radius. And the lower bound has to be 1.5 because we said the diameter is 3 millimeters at minimum. And then we also have the hook width, that's equal to B, and then also the hook volume. We're going to calculate that, and that's going to be the thing that we'll minimize. So those are all of the adjustable parameters, or the adjustable variables that the optimizer can use to try to minimize the volume. We'll have some intermediate calculations as well. So here's our height. There's the radius of the centroid. There's the radius of the neutral axis. These are all in millimeters. And then there's E. That is the difference between the radius of the centroid minus the radius of the neutral axis. And then we have the bending moment due to the load. And then we also have the distance from the outer to the neutral. Okay, so I'll define that as well, CO. And then the distance from the inner to the neutral. Here's our cross-sectional area. And then I'll have the outer stress and the inner stress, A and B. Now let's define some equations now. Okay, I'll define those as the volume. This is just the volume calculation. All right, and then I'll have the yield stress. It has to be, at A, it has to be less than the yield strength of steel. And also the same at B as well. And then I'll have a constraint for feasibility. The inner uh, radius has to be less than the outer radius. Okay, so those are all of my equations. Now I want to minimize V and then solve. Okay, so now I've solved it and let's print the optimal solution. Okay, so there is there are the four variables that we have and I can save this and then run it. Okay, so let's open up just a Python interpreter. You can do this in Jupyter Notebook, or you can do it from the command line as well. And I'll just change to the desktop and do Python, and then this is hook.py. Okay, so it solved the optimization problem with the solver IPopt. You can see the solution time. It took uh, about five hundredths of a second and the objective is 37.5. That's the optimal volume in millimeters cubed for the amount of material that needed to just design this hook to be able to carry that load without um, exceeding the yield stress at A and B. And there you can see the inner radius that went to the lower bound of 1.5. So if we relax that and we say, well, maybe we could go down to 1.3, for example, how does that change the solution, the objective? So let's go ahead and that allows us to now start asking certain questions like that. Well, maybe we can remove this constraint. We should get a better objective. Okay, it said actually solution not found. Okay, and sometimes that's the case if you have an infeasible, okay, it's not able to find a solution, also not found. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that back at 1.5, and we'll also try some other solvers as well. Okay, so let's just uh, solve this, and then I'm going to change the solver to 1. That's the APOP solver. Okay, also solution not found. So some of the solvers are not going to be able to find the solution. 
So one strategy for this, if you get into an optimization problem here that where it has a hard time finding a solution, what you can do is start off with 1.5. You can minimize it and solve it and then change the lower bound, for example. Okay, so let's say I have RI is 1.5 and maybe I do RI lower and I change that to 1.4 and then I solve it again. So let's just see if that will work. Okay, so I was able to solve it now because I was able to initialize with 1.5 and then solve it again with 1.4. So let's see if I can go down even further. Okay, so I'll solve it, uh, relaxing the bounds even further. Okay, and you can see that the optimal volume went down to 35 over here. So from 37 down to 35. So we've, we've taken off about 8% of the volume we needed by just lowering that bound for the inner radius. So we might be able to go down even further. Okay, so let's see if this is our lower bound is now 1.3 here. And then we want to solve it a third time. And I'll save that and then run it again. So you can see now the optimal volume is 32.5. So with every time that I've decreased that, it, the optimal solution always pushes up to that boundary. But you need at least a certain radius for the thing that you're going to be carrying, whether that's a chain or something else. You need a minimum inner radius um, for the load that you're going to be carrying. Okay, so that's a tutorial with uh, Python Gecko, and I'll just share with you the website, and I'll put this link in the video description. It just gives a little bit more about the equations and the setup for this problem for the crane hook design optimization. If you'd like to come down here and get the source code, there's the source code that you can get and run it in any environment that'll run Python. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. We have additional optimization problems that we're going to be solving. And you could see a list of them here under the homework tubular column, step cone pulley, beam column. This is the crane hook, rocket launch, spring design, heat integration, solar pipeline. So you could see all of these different applications of optimization, but then also some things like quasi Newton methods as we get more into the algorithms of optimization, discrete design, simulated annealing, Karishkun Tucker conditions, interior point method. So many different topics there. And then I'll also just show share with you the book chapters. Here's the design optimization textbook with its this freely available PDF chapters that you can download. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.